the Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen. What's in a box? Not that box. That's Del Puckett in that box. What's in this box? That box. No, 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 no. Not what's in this box. He is risen. Dude, are schools teaching the kids about the occultic overtones of rabbits and eggs that are coinciding with the Easter season? Have you done any research about that? It's not good. I'm just trying to tell my little girls, you know, coloring Easter eggs is fun and candy's fun and bunnies are cute, but it gets seedy. Jesus has risen. What's in this box? Oh look, Anchor USA made. You wanna hear a little side trivia? My grandfather, my mom's dad, Jack, he used to work for here. I remember visiting him really little. And this factory was right up the road from his little house. He had like a house here and he could like walk to work. He found this at Menards. My wife and I almost started crying when it said made in the USA. I'm still curious if like <laughs> anything else is here. Look. American made glass since 1905. You know the early Christ, you know the early symbol for Christianity or followers of the way, the truth and life, was an anchor. You'd find anchors from what I understand. I haven't done a lot of homework on this, but you'll find anchors, ancient graffiti anchors around Israel. What's in a box? No, but that's cool. USA. Harley Benton. What am I doing right now? I'm working on this guitar right here for California, for Daniel. His neck is drying. So we're gonna switch gears and open this box and see, oh, Look at the Daily Crow, still mad at me. Look, bro, just turn around. I know it's scary out there, dude, but you can't put your head in the sand. Daily Crow. Do you read the dailycrow.com? Look, he was mad at me because I just bought a hummingbird feeder. Very, very protective. Not as much as Captain Howlin' Mad Murdoch, though. Ugh. Get me started with that dog. Look, he's out there barking already. What's in the box, dude? Get to your point. sidetracked here. Harley Benton. Let's see what's in this box right here. This came from Tennessee. This is going to be a special um, job. Possibly. This could be two jobs. The first job is to assess what's going on here. So, it's like a 
big alligator. Ready? One, two. Ooh, what's in here? Give it to me. House. Er, er. Bam. Nice. Dude, this is a beaut. Number 14. Have I mentioned to anyone out there that number 14 is my favorite number? Question. What is 14 plus 14 plus 14? It is 42. What is 42? Break down into months. It's three and a half years. How many people were on in the Lord of the Rings in the, uh, what was it, very, the Hobbit? Was it the Hobbit? It was 12 dwarves plus Gandalf plus Bilbo, I believe. Look, boom. And when you think, are you filming? And when you think about a brick, come on, give it to me, house. <laughs> Did you know Brick House is on the front cover of my favorite book ever? And it's on the back cover of my favorite book ever. Let's take a little peek inside of here and see where he has the old Brick House. Is that up front? Is that in here? I think it is. I don't got time for all this. I don't know where it is and I don't want to waste. Anyways. So this is very, oh look, Ohio. That's where I'm at in Ohio. So this is a gorgeous build. Super duper. Well done, my dude. My fellow cigar boss guitar enthusiast. Quoting from Del Puckett, of course. Look, the issue here is, if this was a slider, this action would be fantastic. Look, it's really, really high. That's good for sliding. For sliding all around. However, this action right here is... One, two, three eighths off of the neck right here. And this can kind of be adjusted. But the problem is, is if you bring these saddles down, 
all the way down, you're gonna bring them all the way down here and it's gonna hit that pickup, see? It's already hitting the pickup right there. You can bring this down some and what we're working with here is a really good straight neck. What we're hoping for is more uh, is a little bit more back angle. But again, this is all subjective and this is also different ways you do this. Love that 14 right there. So what this person right here would like to do would be to make this guitar a little bit more playable because as you're seeing, look, your, your fretting hand, you know, we, did, we, we don't mind high action with these, but this is just really like, up here it's good, but down here it just gets really like crazy. So I'm gonna play with this and see if we can get this a little bit more playable down here. But yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Great work. All right, so we're gonna pop this open real quick. And first of all, great work. Nice pickup. What is that called? Master built. Master built pickup there. Nice pots. Nice jack. Great interior work. All right. Here's where I think the issue is. And again, this is one of those subjective sort of play or feel things. When we're building these, we're looking for a back angle. So if you were going for a straight angle, you would just kind of keep this thing straight. Or if you wanted to do sort of a Gibson type with the neck um, angles back. What this gent did is see that shim right here. I use them all the time too. But see the angle of the shim? That angle, depending on what you're doing, is facing the wrong way. So the neck is essentially doing, what, let me get down here. The neck is, what the neck is doing here is that real high action right here that's going up here and you can't adjust it no matter how much you adjust your bridge. This is gonna stay like crazy high right here just because the, the neck is angling forward. And now I've done it, and I believe it's a common thing a lot of people do. What I'm going to try to do is pop this off and then just adjust the neck. Try to raise it up some and then angle it back down and see what happens. Oh, Captain Hallam Mad Murdoch. He's out there barking at somebody. Just spread that mulch. All down here. No, spread the mulch. Good, good job. All right, so spread that mulch. Start from here and work your way. You're, already, you're almost already done. Nice. Yo, bro, I'm making your video right now, so I should have your video up tonight. So gorgeous box, love it. Love this guy's work. Fantastic. This is his only thing he did wrong. See this wedge right here? See this shim? He was trying to do the back angle, but he did it the wrong angle. This is supposed to be reversed. This is why your neck's kind of doing this thing and, he, and you can't get that, that action right here is just crazy. It's just a simple mistake. Um, and, I mean, unless, you know, he was just trying to make a slider, which is cool. I'm not, you know, I just want to be careful about my, my terminology here, but the way, I would do this is this would be reversed. It would be higher back here and lower up here. And then it would go down and then you would get that more Gibson. See what I'm saying? It's doing this and it needs to do this. So I'm gonna try popping these out and see if I can just reverse those. See what happens. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Spread the mulch. Spread the mulch out. Good. Spread it. No, spread it, no, spread it out. Don't shred the bag. Spread them, don't spread the, you're gonna make a big mess, dude. Just spread the, there you go, good. Nice. Whoa, 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 you're making big, a bigger mess than it needs to be. Just spread the mulch out, bro. Right. Just spread it out. Right. Got another bag, you got a corner bag to do. Kinda sucks though, cause you're making a big mess, a bigger mess than it needs to be. And 
check it out. Look, I dig it. This guy used bits I never used. See them star bits? What are those bits called? I have no idea. But he's got this one here. He's working with this one here. I've never used these kind of bits before. Okay, am I going the right way? Look, boom. Jam. I like this right here too. See how he did that to catch the screws of the bridge? Boom. Nice work, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Now, hopefully he didn't glue this to the, to the, if this comes off here, we're good. If he glued this here, it's a no-go. Yeah, so you can't, unless, yeah, he glued all this in there. So, yeah, this, he was confident in what he did there. So this is gonna be, it is what it is. You get what you get, you don't throw a fit. So this is an example of exactly why I try to rarely use glue. Because if you do sort of, uh, I won't say make a mistake, I'll say Bob Ross, if you happen to have a happy accident. Some guys won't call this an accident. Some guys want it like that because they want the slide, the slide thing, so. But I try not to glue this stuff in here for this exact reason. Because if you want to go in here and adjust this, you cannot. Because look, I would destroy the whole box. So what I think what I would do here is, is think about what I'm going to do here. And keep it as it is, and it can be a hanger on the wall, or you can just use it just for a slide guitar, or we can pillage it and then do something else. I am unsure. Yeah, I know this one thing is, is if I go on here and I start ripping this neck out of here, see, it's, it's, this is glued to here, 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 you're gonna, it's gonna be a hot mess. So, problem solve, Ving. I don't know. Do I keep it as it is or start again? All right, look. I just got off the phone with my dude Quincy from Tennessee. He moved to Tennessee from, you say California or Oregon? I had to ask him. So we got some big plans. Oh, we've got plans. I can't reveal to you the plans right now. But yo, we have got plans. Bob would agree of the plans that we've come up with. Bob would agree that we got to do something else with this back angle. But look, I'm not dissing this dude. Great work, bro. If you ever watch this video, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love all your work. We're going to do a different, we're going to, we're going to salvage this. We're going to save this. We're going to show all kinds of love and respect for this build right here. Number 14 mm -hmm, on the brick house because she is a brick. Get it to me now. Come on. House. He says to show it, show it. She said, not the math day. She letting it all hang out. All right. <laughs> so let me fix this camera. <laughs> Man, I tell you what. There's one guy you don't want to see on the dance floor after a couple of beers is this guy. <laughs> I hope, as a matter of fact, as I think about my life, if I, I've been on a dance floor before, I hope that nobody has video footage of that. It is not pretty. It's not even funny. <laughs> All right, Quincy, we're going to shift gears back to this builder right here. His neck is back here hanging right in front of the fish. We got to get finishing up on that one now. That's a wrap of this video. We'll call this one Assess and Address. Number 14, my favorite number. Bye.
Did you dig it? Keep oil in your lamps, my friends. Watch and pray. Now I need you to spread it over here. Now I need I need to go over here. We're not come here. No, the bag. The bag. Go get the bag. Where's the bag at? Go get that bag. Good boy. All right, bring it over here. Good. Let's go. Over here. Come on. Over here. Good boy. Bring your bag. Good. Good, good, good. Right here. Good. Good job. All right, now trample it down. No, 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 no. That's, that's kind of what I don't want you to do. 